Federal form, I believe, yes. Madam Gomes. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to take uh, the opportunity to also congratulate my colleague, Ms. Janaka, for her report. I think her philosophy, her approach to the, uh, the matters dealt in our report very much coincide with m mine uh, that uh, uh, has been uh, uh, adopted uh, by the Committee of, of uh, Foreign Affairs and that it will be voted by us uh, tomorrow on uh, the maritime dimension of CSDP. Uh, the thinking is similar, the concerns as well with the, the, the resources that are needed to indeed pool and share these capabilities and the need to plan for the future are essential. And to actually understand the major threats and challenges. I, I also want to thank all the contributions of the different colleagues. Uh, I very much share what Mr. Danjean has said about the financing of these for CSDP and therefore for the, all the effort for, the, for the, the, the equipment and the capabilities that we'll have to acquire uh, in order to be able to dispose of. I very much share, and it's in the report what has been uh, uh, mentioned by our colleague Ms. Meissner on the, the need for a, a European Coastal Guard. Uh, uh, and I even, um, and of course I, 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 I very uh, much welcome the very kind words by the presidency, highlighting indeed the contribution of this report. I also welcome the criticism, most of the criticism, because of course they, 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 they stem from a point of view which is anti-CSDP, anti-Europe for defense and security. I believe that this Europe for defense and security is essential not just for the European citizens but actually for the world because I actually see and believe in Europe as a global provider of security and of, as a global provider of respect for international law because obviously everything that is in our reports must be conducted in due regard for international law and in the case of the maritime dimension for, of course, the uh, UN Convention of the Law of the Sea. I take issue with one of the critics by my colleague Mr. Butikofa, who is not there anymore, who accused me of imperial nostalgia. I'm sorry he doesn't know, but I fought against colonialism in the old days, in the dictatorship and the colonial time in my period, and I don't accept this kind of criticism. Uh, I hope he doesn't have to swallow what he said if one of these days a cruise ship with uh, full of German vacation and th citizens would be uh, the target of a terrorist attack somewhere in the middle of the ocean, maybe in an area under the control of my country, which despite being the third uh, country of the Union in terms of uh, economic uh, uh, zone and the tenth of the world doesn't have the capabilities to actually uh, deal with a, a major terrorist attack if it occurs in our artists. And that's exactly why we need Europe. I hope he doesn't have to swallow that. And actually for the alliance that he has shown with Mr. Van Orden and Mrs. Losing, uh, who normally are against CSDP, I, I, pardon my French, les beaux esprits se rencontrent. Thank you. Having listened to the debate, I don't think that there is unanimity in the room, which is not a problem. This is a very serious topic and uh, therefore permit me to uh, speak a little bit lightly. 